For Homestar Prize, this is George Shifton here in Los Angeles, California at the Nokia Club for the third edition of the Rover Golden Guts Awards. And this is like calm before the storm. We're waiting for a bunch of motherfuckers to come through the black carpet. Some badasses that you know and you should know by now, but I'm not going to tell you anything because I want you to stay tuned and put your horns up. Put your horns up. Put your horns up. Put your horns up. Throw your horns up. Put your fucking horns up, motherfuckers. Should put your horns up. Yeah. We're watching Horns Up Rocks. And we're here in Los Angeles at the Roller Golden Gods Awards, and it's a pretty exciting fucking day, man. I mean, we have all the family here. Yeah, man. It's a big deal now. We came to the first one, and it's, it's rad that it's lasted three years and, you know, makes it a bigger event and brings in all the media that might not even cover this type of music to begin with. It's cool. And who are you looking forward to see on stage tonight? Uh, Vince Sevenfold, our buddies in Devil Driver, Mr. William Shatner himself. That would be that would be awesome. Alice Cooper, I'm actually lo really looking forward to that. And obviously, the big news right now is the machine here entered the studio last weekend. Yeah. How did that go? Are you guys excited about it? Oh yeah, we did. We've been down there for three days. Dave McLean's been laying down the drums, killing it, and we're uh, we're just you know we're getting going on the journey. July, we're out on the Mayhem tour, and then the record drops in September. So. What do you think musically is going to be different? Because I know you guys have always been like, you know, let's do something different so it doesn't get boring. What's going to be different on the next Machine Head? I mean, you know, we, we're, we've we really, like, for the past, you know, two records, including this one, we've really just been, we've been writing for ourselves and just kind of just what, our, we don't really have, like, a set plan. We don't, we didn't really sit down and, and even, like, you know, Oh, uh, we had a bunch of long songs on the last record. We got to do a bunch of short ones. We didn't, really didn't. We just kind of like, we had some time off, and we, me, you know, we started itching to get back in and start writing and everything. And and it, it was just whatever was flowing out, and it's it's killer, man. Like super exciting, and uh, you know, we're all really just really really excited about about what happened, like just what came out. You know, we feel like we got another kick-ass album on our hands, and. Uh, can't wait for everybody to hear it. Is there a set date or September? September-ish. September-ish. And <laughs> hey, let me ask you something, you guys. Did you ever expect when we started that there would be like an award show dedicated in North America to heavy metal and hard rock? I never thought about it, but you know, we started going to the Kerrang Awards and the Metal Hammer Awards back in 2004 and we'd always go like fuck this would be such a cool thing to have in America why you know why don't somebody you know one of the magazines should do it and it's you know they finally did and it's so cool I mean because it's just such a good vibe yeah. and free beer <laughs> you can't breathe the free beer <laughs> and speaking of beer last time we hung out was at Dust Brooklyn you were blowing fire outside in the street and you know I was like oh, I know that do you last time we met it was at Doves in Brooklyn, oh, yeah. and you were blowing fire out of... Fuck yeah, I was hammered. That was awesome. That was a fun night. Yeah, I had the Sambuca. And then you were teaching somebody how to do it. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Oh, no? That's a cool bar, man. It's a very cool bar. You should move to Doves. Uh, That's a little thing. <laughs> All right, we hear some music. I don't know. Whoa, we have some band rolling by. Very cool. You guys should do that someday, man. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Good for them, man. And that's a perfect example. If you want your music here, there are so many ways to do it. A lot of the kids out there are kind of sleeping on it right now. You guys know it because you come from the old school elite of how hard it is and how much you have to sacrifice. You have to do it all the way or don't do it at all. Yeah. I know. I mean, it's great that there's so many new things and there's so much change going on because it like gives kids new opportunities to like... You know, they don't have any set way of having to do anything. And they've got all these other options to get their music out there and all these other different things. And, you know, it's pretty, it's a pretty amazing time to make music right now. It's exciting. And you guys are Metallica. And that's, I mean, I'm sure when you guys got that tour, it was pretty much like... Yeah, we were yeah. almost in tears. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was like dream come true. It's dream come true. You know what I mean? That's a fucking dream come true right there. I mean, we were stunned, shocked, you know, and the fact that they just, they kept on asking us, we were like, wow. They actually, I mean, they dig it. They're legitly into it, you know, to hear them say things like the blackening influenced death magnetic. It was like, it you know, influenced like, everybody. You know, it just, you know, it's hard to get your head around, man. It's like, 
if they only knew the influence that they had, I mean, and I'm sure they do, but you know, there's such an influence even on the blackening, on just on the band in general. It was, it's rad to have that reciprocation, and that's what's the crazy thing about putting. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a crazy time. Like, something like that can happen, and like this band can come out and influence a band like Metallica, and then they turn around and go, yeah, let's take those guys on tour. I really like them, man. Fuck what they, you know, fuck if they're all over the radio. Like, we just want them on because we think they're badass. Like, Good that's bat. awesome, man. And since you said the blackening, to me the blackening is not because you guys are here. It's one of my top ten favorite albums of all time. With like Sabbath, with Pantera, with Slayer, because you know it really was like, you know, it's it, sonically it's perfect. The lyrics, the words, the drums. I mean, but th that's always been like that with you guys. But I think it was cool to see kids that were before were like, oh, who's this Machine Head band? They're a new metal band. They took away that. You know, you guys completely like erased that. It's your heavy metal band. Fucking A. What's up? This is Dave and Rob Flynn from Machine Head. Mm. 